Now we're on to question one for short answer questions for part F. So Richard is a football trainer. He has set up a company offering training and competition and competitions for footballers of all abilities age 16 and over. He would like to create a website that will advertise training facilities, advertise competitions, collect personal details of players, allow players to book training events and enter competitions. The website must be accessible to all users, to all users. Uh, describe two accessibility features that should be included in the website. Incorporate features that will allow ease of use for visually impaired, so text alternatives for non-text content. So when you move your mouse over certain objects on certain websites, it, it will actually show the text of what it is. That's called alternative text. If that person is not able to read, once they move their mouse over it or press tab on their keyboard, they would have a screen reader which actually reads everything to them. You have the Zoom facility as well. So some people are not fully blind, but they have visual impairments where they can see stuff, but it needs to be very close or very large. So the Zoom facility will help. Make it available to assistive technology. So any technologies that will be able to read what is on there so that the person will know roughly, okay, you've moved your mouse over the home button. Click this button to go back to the home page, for example. Use sufficient contrast to make things easy to see. So many websites um, have a feature where you can do light mode or dark mode. Dark mode is probably better for people with certain visual impairments where the text is really bright, like white or yellow, and the background is black. So the contrast is very high. Make content adaptable. So make the website adaptable in that it adapts to whatever device the person is on. Appropriate fonts, colors to assist readability. So that's more or less the same as um, contrasting, just making it easier to read. So you can incorporate features for hearing impaired captions and alternative for audio and video content. So if someone can't hear, they can see perfectly fine. Just like YouTube has um, uh, captions, right? It doesn't really work well for me because of my accent, but in many cases, it will work fine once you speak uh, plain English in an American or English accent. Features for specific disabilities. Example, epilepsy. Do not use content that causes seizures. So maybe... Your website is going to have videos. Don't have flashing videos because that, that flashing light can actually cause seizures for some people. General features to aid usability. Make all functionality keyboard accessible. So don't just make stuff where you have to move your mouse. Make stuff that if when the person presses tab. So if I go to, let me just drag over my Canva thing onto the screen. Right, I'm, I clicked once on there. I'm going to keep pressing tab on my keyboard. And as you can see, the top left here, I'm going to move my mouse now, is highlighted that thing there. Um, this would actually be read out if I had a screen reader. And if I press, I'm going to click once again. I'm going to press tab, keep pressing tab. And as you can see, it keeps highlighting different sections. This is very, very good because if I cannot see, my screen reader is going to tell me that this is on pricing. When I press enter, it might take me to the pricing page right let me go back uh, but yeah that's one of the options that you could use for people who, who um who have visual impairments what what else uh give users enough time to read and use content so don't make it so that the content scrolls across the screen where they have to wait for it to come back across and the screen reader is going to get messed up because the content has changed provide unique sorry not unique provide adequate navigation guidance to help users find content so make it very clearly laid out so that when someone goes on the website, they don't have to wonder, oh, how do I get to the home page? How do I get to the contact us page? Make it a very clear home button, a very clear contact us button. Uh, consistency of layout navigation. So if I'm on the home page and I say, okay, let me go to the products page. The products page shouldn't be drastically different from the home page because I, really, I have a relative idea as someone who's not able to see, for example, how many times I need to press the tab button to get to the um, the button I want to get to. As you should make it so drastically different that I have to then learn in my brain and try to remember how many times I need to press this or where I need to go. You should make it consistent. Make content appear and operate in, a pre in predictable ways. Don't do crazy things with your website if you want it to be accessible. Don't have animation flashing on and off screen and... So you have three seconds to click this one dot in the center that obviously someone who's visually impaired might not be able to see. Help users avoid and correct mistakes. Um, 
Okay, so if someone may maybe searches for something, let's say I typed in Grand Theft Auto Five, and I probably rather than typing Grand, I type in Grant Theft Auto Five, right? Maybe help me with the spelling. Maybe check my spelling. That's a really good one that I like on websites because I, I type so fast sometimes. As you guys have seen, I make loads of mistakes. So that would be helpful. 